about to get his hair cut he looks a little cray cray because they wanted it to be dry but do you have anything to say before you get your hair cut off no i uh, know oh my gosh no no we need to take the fish out so i'm going to go ahead and start cooking because it's 4 30 today is one of those days that i did not cook ahead the boys are at the barber shop we just dropped kenzo off as y'all saw my baby is about to get his hair cut i'm excited for him he just wants to look have a whole new look since he's turning six in two days so me and kendi are here we ran by the store i needed to get a few things for chipotle bowls it fell and make sure your glasses aren't broke so i'm gonna do that right now i told kendi because it feels good out and the pollen has gone down that i want to i cook. got my friend's number Girl, go clean your lunchbox. I want to um cook on my flat top. All right, now that I'm back at home, y'all, I had to take that hat off. I gotta do my hair, but when you busy, majority of the time, you just don't do your hair all the time. Thank God for hats. But for the Chipotle bowls, I am, I got this type of cheese. I normally use shredded cheese, but I got this cheese. It was like only a dollar and something, but I love the paste brand and salsa, so it might taste good. And then we got Chipotle Ranch. Y'all, don't sleep on great value stuff. I don't get all of great value stuff, but this Chipotle Ranch, we keep it in our house. I got some lettuce, and then I... So I got two of these they can take tomorrow. I just got some more of the juice boxes that they like, and then I got some fresh cilantro. Oh, I forgot fresh garlic, but fresh cilantro um bell pepper an onion i love using this parboiled rice i keep this and then i also got one of these for our pitcher because the other one i think is overdue so y'all can just facetime i saw kenzo's hair he looks so different he looks older it looks super cute the only thing i have to do is go um i might have to go back today just get some products so i can when they sponge, I want to get him a sponge because y'all know how they wear the sponge hairstyle. I want to sponge it. And then I also want to get like some curling products. So it just looks really good and neat. And Kim was telling me that it's very, very dry, but that's only because his barber didn't want any products in his hair. So his hair is used to moisture. So it's really dry. So I'm going to fix that once he get home. And yeah, I'm so excited to fix this food. But y'all, let me show y'all. When I say God blessed me with the most amazing husband, like I, I just, I love him so much. But y'all, he bought me these beautiful flowers yesterday. When I say God knows what he's always doing yesterday, it was like nothing was wrong with me, but I don't know. I felt like just because I wasn't productive that, I don't know. It's just the way the mind works sometimes. And he brought these home so randomly. Look how pretty they are. Like, it's just the small things for me. And then he got me this beautiful card and my most favorite chocolates of them all. And it's just the little things. And I was so grateful and appreciative for that. And it's just like God will use people <clears throat> to do things that can just literally brighten your day. It doesn't even have to be a gift. It can just be encouraging words, checking in on someone. And I'm just truly grateful that God loves me enough to do things to show me like, look, cheer up. It's okay. It's life. Everybody doesn't always wake up and just <clears throat> are like always, ooh, I'm having a great day or whatever because the enemy always tries to come in and to hinder you from having a great day. And my day ended great. It was just, I don't know. It's like I'm trying to learn that even when I'm not productive, I'm still productive. 
Like, it's okay. I don't have to always feel like I have to be working and stuff like that in order for me to be productive. And some days it is good to rest and take a moment back. And what I'm trying to learn and train myself to do is on days that are their rest days for me, just rest. I don't have to allow the inner thoughts make me feel like just because I'm not working in a productive way that I'm, I'm doing something wrong. Like it's crazy, but let me stop talking. I'm going to go ahead, wash my meat, cut up all of my, my veggies, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my rice on and we'll head outside. I'm going to do a little montage or whatever, and I'll show y'all what it looks like once I'm done. Made a little short of it so y'all can see how I played it with y'all. This right here, I'm ready to devour it. Now that the bowls are fixed, well, I just fixed mine. Kendi is already eating. They didn't get a whole bowl. They just wanted the rice, the veggies to the side, which she got salad, and then the meat, of course. But I didn't chop theirs up. They have whole um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I have been cleaning my kitchen behind myself, so I just got to wash this stuff once everyone is done with it i don't know when it's gonna be but i did decide to go ahead and make them a little easter basket y'all know i'm very intentional when it comes to gift giving and making you know cute gifts for others but i wasn't as intentional with their baskets only because i wasn't going to do it at first because i already got one from someone else easter is not all about the baskets anyways i just love the cute little tradition of it just because my mom did it with us every year so we'll make that together i'm going to relax i need to prep kendy's hair because we're going to put in her braids tomorrow and that's going to be that morning you guys i had to get dressed early got on my cute fit look at my baby y'all he got his hair cut handsome i okay. wear this cute little bag my sandals and this is the look for the day let's go get breakfast we have the two goofballs over there hey kendrick we're treating him for the start of his spring break and Ken wanted to go to Maple Biscuit Company. I did not want to go, so I talked him into coming to Ruby Slipper because I've only been, what, an hour and a half? I mean, it might not even be that long. For Kenzo a cute little bike hopefully we can oh the kids bikes let's see what we can find for my little pumpkin this one is cute All right here.
Y'all look who we are. Mr. Daly has a serious problem. This Mr. is not for me, this is for Kenry. This for who? Kenry. Okay. We'll see. We had to hurry up and come home and drop off Kenzo's bike. I went and got Kendi something out of Ulta to put in her basket. Oh, and I got her some from Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna show y'all everything later. But dropped off his bike. Ken and Karen are about to work out and I'm gonna go get the kids. I was not supposed to be on carpool duty today. I was gonna leave that to Ken and Kimrick, but it's on me. Kimrick got a new bench set, whatever. Y'all know how it is when they become teens. He plays sports, so he's into that. And we were supposed to get this for his birthday. His birthday is in June. It's not even April yet. So that's what they're doing right now. I'm sweating, y'all, because I literally was trying to clean up my house. I just told Ken, I'm like, when we left this morning, it was crap everywhere. I got to go to the hair store and get that braid hair for Kendi's hair. So I need to look in their bathroom. Under the cabinet, I know I have some braid hair, but it might be jet black. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to run to the hair store real quick. That way I don't have to be in the school traffic because I like to get there early so I don't have to wait. So I'm going to get there a little later and I can just pull straight in. I'll show y'all this real quick because I'm trying to waste time. This was going to his Easter basket. So Ken got him this Dior and then... I was making him an Easter basket. So just in case y'all don't see three Easter baskets, I do it every year. It's because he's already got his stuff. He wanted to ball out of control because it's his spring break. He ended up getting, he ordered shoes the other day. When we got here, he had a package for him, some type of hoodie he wanted. Um, he just got some more little slip-ons, the little hey dudes that they wear. And then he just got this Dior. So his Easter is over with and technically his spring break. But I got Kendi, y'all, she has been wearing my elf stuff this i am obsessed so i went at olsen got her another one this is my favorite all-time concealer cool tan in la girl pro i told y'all i'm obsessed with the in the stars so i went ahead and got the body mist and then i just got her this little one it's called strawberry pound cake never heard of it but i tried it and it smells Really girly and cute, so I'm gonna add that to the Easter basket. So y'all, we, y'all know we took Kenrick out. We went to one store and Ken was like, he was like, the school is calling me. And I said, I don't know why the school would be calling. So he didn't think anything of it. And they have this app where you can like, basically get in contact with the teacher or they can just keep you up to date. Come on, y'all, let a sister out. They can keep you up to date on like stuff that goes on with the kids. I got a notification right after Ken called and someone said, hey, so sorry to, what well, wasn't someone, it was Kenzo's teacher. They said, hey, I'm so sorry to tell you that some school lunches were stolen today and it was Kenzo's lunch. Y'all. The teacher, his teacher said that he was so upset. And y'all know my baby is a picky eater for anyone that's new. He takes hot meals every day. And I had him a really good lunch, like his favorite lunch. Thank God we were 15 minutes out. So we were right next door to Zaxby's because we were leaving out a shoe station for Kimrick. Got him a kid's meal and I took it. And I was like, oh my gosh, why would a child do that? But basically she was saying it's something with the child. Come on, y'all. The kid had his own lunch, y'all, and still took Kenzo's lunch. I don't know if he liked everything that was in there. I don't know, but I thought, I thought that was like so crazy. And she said, she just kept apologizing. And I love his teacher. And Ken was like, why would a child do that? Like, I don't understand. But like I told him, kids are kids. They're only five. But fingers crossed it doesn't happen again because he's not he's he's such a picky eater so he's not going to eat anything in the cafeteria he will go without eating and make himself nauseated and throw up and then they want me to pick him up because he threw up but it's only because he hadn't eaten so i was like devil you won't win you're not gonna win you're just upset because everything is continuously going great and you're not going to interfere with our day like i'm not even paying any attention so 
so I'm gonna go get the kids. Probably not gonna come back on y'all because I'm about to go get comfortable, do my baby girl's hair, get her all situated for the weekend. And that's gonna be that. So I'm already at five minutes talking. I hope y'all are having an amazing day whenever you watch this video. Just know that no matter how your day is going, whether good, bad, or whatever, God still wants you to flourish and take advantage of the day. So I'll probably wait until the kids go to bed to do the Easter baskets. And then I think I'm going to create maybe some short content on how I put the basket together. I have too much stuff in the basket, y'all. I normally get big baskets that can fill everything up, but I just got those little cheap um, buckets from Walmart for $1.25 because I only got it for the Easter egg hunt. My, I wasn't doing an Easter basket. Hopefully this stuff can fit. Only reason why I was a little iffy because those Crocs, I was gonna put those in there. But then we ended up getting them um, some vans and we were really getting the vans for Ken's old birthday, just like an extra shoe because he always gets the outfit and a shoe for his birthday. But Ken, of course, when we get him a shoe, we get Kendi a shoe. So we just gave them the shoes last night. They're super cute. So I'm not even gonna worry about having that in there, but we'll get it together, so. Master Jam birthday jam. Hope you have a thrilling, thr thrilling smash Monster Jamming good time. <laughs> this is the best birthday ever. Sorry if you hear my air fryer. I'm warming up. Me and Ken reheating us some steak. And I don't know. We're probably going to have like Caesar salad or something with it. I just put the kids down. They got cleaned up for bed. And I'm going to do. I totally forgot about the Easter baskets. We'll talk about the birthday tomorrow. Now, Kenzo really enjoyed his birthday, y'all. He has been taking advantage of us so much. But he had an amazing day. He was like, he did not want his day to end. <laughs> he has been the boss all day, but I'm going to show y'all the stuff I got for the Easter basket. We'll make that real quick. I'm gonna do some short content so I can upload on tomorrow. And then we have a whole brand new start for Easter on tomorrow. So let's jump into making the Easter basket.
Easter, you guys. It's Sunday. We just got out of church, and I'm trying to see if I'm going to leave this on. We're about to go have dinner, drop the kids off. And I like my dress, y'all. This was the dress I was telling y'all about from um the thrift store. It's super cute. And the shoes I was telling y'all about. But I don't know. Kim was saying just put on. He want me to dress according to him. But I don't know. I'm going to see because it is very comfortable. All right, guys. So I've changed. I got to show y'all this outfit um, from head to toe. This is what I got from Walmart probably like Mom, a month ago. Mom, can't find all her stuff out. You may get this back. Go put yours in your bed. No, you can, you can use your bucket. Go sit your stuff in your bed. No, Kendi, take the whole bucket and put it in your bed. But yeah, this came from Walmart. But this is the outfit, a Walmart fit. And I love this elastic, what is this called? Zip up vest and then these cute comfy shorts. And I have on these, I think I showed y'all these, these sandals, they're like a Steve Madden do. So this is my outfit for the rest of the evening. Oh yeah. What kind? Show them plain or? Sour. Ch uh, sour cream. Drop the kids off at my parents' house and we are about to eat. Y'all, I've never eaten out. Um, Told you. What? Sure enough, that good. I've never eaten out. You can put it back. I've never eaten out on Easter. This is our first time. And they need to come on. When we got here, we were 15 people. Mm. I don't eat Pringles. That might be good just so I'm hungry. Oh, she leaving. Think she left because they said put a cup up, or she just left because she didn't want to win. It was 15 people in front of us. Now we are number eight. Cindy and Kendo and Kimrick. I went to my parents because they're having something for Easter. But we already had plans, so. Ken has changed a thousand times, so we finally had Old Faithful Longhorn. Hey, Mr. Daly. Y'all, I didn't like the fact how everybody loved Ken so much. Now he's talking about this his channel, his family. Oh, I like her hair and her um sweatsuit. Oh, it's cute. So I'm going to start letting him take over the channel. And see if y'all want me back. No, God was just flowing. It ain't me that they like. It was the spirit. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm, these starting to taste nasty. Oh, they were all together? They had been got out? But we pumped. The podcast going to be fire, y'all. All I'm going to say, it'll be before the year is out. I can't say when it's going to happen. When it's going it happen happens, soon. Soon. It's like just because everybody wants it, I'm starting to be, feel pressure. Mm -mm. Ain't no pressure. This ain't about us. It's about them. I know. It's about God's people. Mm. But anywho. But let me be quiet on your channel. Let me quiet. <laughs> Did she? Oh, I thought that was a Tiffany girl. But anyways, I'm giving me a steak today. What you looking at? You cannot get one today. You get you get a steak every time. I'm getting a steak today. Parmesan crusted ribeye. Parmesan crusted broccoli. Loaded baked potato. And I wanted a dessert, but Kenzo got that cake and ice cream. It was good. I ain't gonna be too greedy. Why you look like that? What? You don't want to bring us out, so you know I'm not going to get bare minimum. I mm. thought you paying today. I'm paying with love. If they if they can accept love, kindness, how God does, I pray all day. We, could we? Never mind. I can't even say that right now. But anywho, I was just letting y'all know what we're about to do. 
I'll show y'all my food, which y'all probably don't want to see because y'all probably say all they do is eat. But we're changing up the normal tradition of always having to do the same thing on certain holidays. We're making our own holidays. It's called a paradigm, y'all. Look She's up the so word cute. paradigm. P A R A D I G M. Paradigm. Well, you can just tell us what it means. All right. A paradigm is basically you eat my chip? a routine behavior. Oh. You know, just, you know. Doing the same thing the same way every time. You know, but what's the, what they say the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing, expecting a different result? You can't continue to do the same thing. But I'm not going to say nothing else, y'all. <laughs> but just look up the word paradigm. Want something new, you gotta change that paradigm. Oh, he's so cute the way he's holding her. Y'all, I'm sitting here in the parking lot. I'm obsessed with old people. I don't know if I've said that. Like, I'm literally obsessed with old people. I just, when I see them, I sort of just wanna hug them. I stare at them. Is that weird? Baby, you think that's weird? Yeah. I just love them. Like, did they, oh, they parked across the street. Ken, look how he hold up behind us. That's so sweet. But anyways, we'll see you guys inside. I'm about to stuff my belly to capacity because I have not eaten since. What? We ate at three. It was 3.50 to be exact. What did we have? Oh, the Chick-fil-A for Kenzo's birthday. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. And I had that little pinch of steak because it was nothing left but a bone. Yeah, I'm hungry. So we'll see y'all once we get inside. back at home i have not been a good vlogger today but y'all <laughs> i think i said that the, this the last few clips it was a really long day a good day but a long one we went out to dinner we went back to my parents house y'all we went from playing kickball to just it was a whole lot but today was an awesome day i um i don't know it just was a great day but we just got home it's 8 18 which we are completely off of our school schedule i'm trying to get the kids cleaned up for school now um kimrick is on his spring break so we only have to focus on getting the little kids to and from school this week i did not get to show y'all the haul of the other stuff that i got but we're gonna get that into probably the next video but i'm going to go ahead and end it here because i have so much to do my house has stuff everywhere it's stuff all over here y'all it's stuff all, it's just stuff everywhere i wouldn't even show y'all the kids rooms my kids got a total of four easter baskets on top of the one that i got them on top of the one that their teacher at church got them but anyways god is good i'm gonna end the video here i thank you guys so much for watching if you're new and you have not subscribed, don't forget to do that. I love you guys so much. God loves you even more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.